<laughs> so the uh, play's pretty great, huh? Oh, yeah. I love Jennifer Benbury's work. She's so brilliantly incisive when it comes to deconstructing the psyche of the American middle class. Oh, forget about it. She rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I know you from? Dr. Drake Ramore. <laughs> Days of our lives. Voted most dateable neurosurgeon by Team B. No, that's not it. So, you're a soap actor. Well, this uh, must be pretty exciting for you being in a real play, hmm? Hey, I've done plays before. I'm a serious actor. That infomercial. <laughs> For the milk carton spout thing. <laughs> you're, you're the guy who doesn't know how to pour milk. <laughs> see, I actually can pour milk, but I got you believing that I couldn't. <laughs> now, see, that's acting. Right, at the end, you choked on a cookie. Yeah, that was real. <laughs> Happy? Is that what I'm supposed to be, Vic? Happy? Well, why don't you tell me what you're supposed to be, huh? Because I sure as hell can't figure it out. I talk to you and nothing. You look at me and it's nothing. Nothing. Uh, tasty. I'm really starting to feel like you guys have a history. It's, it's nice. I have a question about this scene. Yes. Well, I don't understand why Adrian's attracted to Victor. Peel the onion. First of all, he's good looking. Yeah. I think my character's gonna need a little bit more of a reason than that. Oh, hey, how about this one? Uh, it says so in the script. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I don't know why my character likes you either. I mean, it says in the script here that you're a bitch. It doesn't say that in the script. It does in mine. <laughs> Uh-oh, what did she do now? Just because she went to Yale drama, she thinks she's like the greatest actress since, since sliced bread. Ah, uh, sliced bread. A wonderful Lady Macbeth. God, I just, I hate her. I hate her with her, oh, I'm so talented, and ooh, I'm so pretty, and ooh, I smell so good. Yeah. I think somebody has a crush on somebody. Hey, Chandler, can we please try and stay focused on my problem here? You know? I'm talking about you, you big, big freak. Oh. Oh. oh, you're out of your mind. Hey, you have done nothing but talk about her for the last 48 hours. If you were in a schoolyard, you'd be pulling her pigtails and pushing her down now. Oh, yeah? Then how come I keep thinking about her in all these sexual scenarios and stuff, huh? 